facilities and major achievements. Totally but then beautiful. if you go further back in your CV, Hey viewers, I'm going to try this uh, 26 watt SOX lamp which I got from my bridge rectifier another YouTuber and I've got an inverter, a railway inverter here which supposedly runs 24 volts it goes on these two wires and the output goes into the SOX lamp and we'll see if it works so I've got the two accumulator here and just about to connect it up Okay, connections are made positive, negative, go to the 2 core wire, uh, we've got 25.4 volts here, as soon as we close the circuit breaker, and we're going to see what happens. Energize device, oh. oh, there's some glowage. Twenty five point four volts. Switch also twice and maybe struggling on the spike or something, I don't know. It's fine. Oh, it does work. Bloody amazing. high frequency so it works a different uh, so this is bridge rectifiers device unless it goes through the cycle so 25 it's hard to see hang on I'll this behind here 25.1 volts that is awesome so there's a railway inverter and it works absolutely stunning So this is a 26 watts uh, socks, low pressure sodium. That goes with the startup cycle. So I've got a portable. Those batteries are a bit heavy, but I can have some 7 amp hour ones, but this is the only ones I have at the moment. Fully portable. Low pressure sodium. That looks even better. The old uh, substation batteries battery. And that's the power supply. On the British Railways. Absolutely amazing. Also testing another SOX low pressure sodium lamp. Takes its time, it's actually a bit under one, so it needs uh, a bit more current flow. There's the power flowing through the SOX lamp, it's not much. This was hardly. Beautiful color.
couple of minutes later. Getting down. Interesting the way the lamp is glowing, uh, considering there's a bit of pink here, yellow, pink and yellow. Thank you Chris slash bridge rectifier posted me these lamps a while ago. Um, I did the 66 watt socks and this is the 26 watts. And it is surprisingly well how it works. The intensity is picking up. We probably get the straps so I have to put the camera on. <laughs> I had a quick de-energization to turn the meter into the circuit. 0.5 ampere will energize again and see what happens. It's high frequency, I'm not even sure if the meter likes it. Did the meter go up? Yeah, it did. The meter, uh, to be honest, because it's uh, high frequency, different aspect. The meter may go on saturation, it's 50 hertz meter. Where's the try anyway? But again, a low pressure sodium when the power goes off, it immediately uh, goes off, of course, and it strikes. I'll de energize quickly with a circuit breaker on the battery. The energized device. Energized device. Uh, voltage is 24.8, which is cool. And the lamp is doing well. So we get a bit of another shot of this uh, power supply here. The low pressure sodium lamp is uh, monochromatic light, 589 nanometers. It's a very pleasing color. 1.38 ampere at 24 volts. Uh, these sodium lamps also come with uh, instructions. Um, especially regarding disposal of the bulbs. Look at this one. Uh, yeah, nothing out there. There's a key light at the background. Thanks for watching. 
TNGAS Defense, what now called 2007. Ah, oh, quick energization. Oh, oh, oh.